Welcome back to Outriders. Uh, we haven't streamed this in a while, but it's mostly just because I wanted to play a bunch of it offline and kind of didn't want sort of the, uh, 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 whatever, the, the, the sense of emotional baggage that comes with streaming a game. Uh, so I've been streaming it, you know, sort of as my, my go-to action game when I wanted to, you know, have this kind of good time. And it's great. You can see I've sort of leveled my character up a little bit, got a fancy banner with a big spider guy on it, and uh, I'm just about to move on to the next phase in the story. Uh, we're headed to the, what's it called, the Wreckage Zone, I believe. I actually, I've been, so I've been going around doing side quest content, so I've actually kind of lost the thread of what we're trying to accomplish. I believe that uh, the scientist, Zahidi, wants to get access to the forest to chase down this signal that he's been following. And getting access to the forest requires me to do some favors um, over here in, uh, what's this place called again? Some kind of town. Trench town? Yes, this is, oh, you can't see it because, you know, my head. But uh, yeah, it's Trench town. Uh, so I'm sitting here in Trench town, and, and I've been just running around. Like, I, I discovered a few new kinds of side hey, content. Boss. I can go... Hunting. If memory serves, there's oh. a nice joint with some good tail you know what? around the corner. No. Yeah, Jakob. Tell him Picasso sends his regards. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not interested, Jakob. Um, anyway, so uh, there are, like, assassination yeah, missions. Oh, Jakob, go away. Go away. I'm trying to talk. There you go. Anyway, there's assassination missions. There's hunting missions. I've done a few of those uh, <laughs> in this area. So now I'm kind of down to the, the last side quests I have are all locked behind story content. So it's time to progress the story. I figured that might be a really good time to sort of bring other folks in. So, Jakob, okay, now it's your turn. Now we're ready to talk. Let's go. Last time through here, I thought this place already smelled about as bad as it could get. All right. I think Jakob's talking to me, but I can't hear what he's saying, so I'm just going to ignore him. Yep, so we want to go to the wreckage zone because we got a million quests there, including an assassination and a hunting quest. Maybe we can grab some of those on the side while we're following the main plot. So Malatour is, uh, is talking in the chat about the fact that uh, my game, State of Decay 2, is on sale right now. Said they just sent the sale leak, the sale leak to their game night group. Hopefully they buy it and we get to play. Yeah. Getting other people to play the co-op game that you're playing uh, is is like one of the great social challenges of this era. Satisfy my curiosity. Why are you taking orders from a human, let alone Shira Gutman? How about you give me information instead? Bailey said Seth was hunting another altered. Who was he? Do you think Seth discusses his godly affairs with us mortals? Seth offered to lead tomorrow's assault, then walked off on some personal vendetta. Truth is, I don't care. As long as one of you returns to give me my victory tomorrow. We'll talk then, Outrider. All right. So, as always, in a video game, when the... Uh, uh, actually, hmm, maybe I belong up here. I can't remember where I stick my face. Maybe it's here. Uh, so the minimap is telling you to go this way. That means you have to go the other way. Find out what's around the corner. Collectibles! Always collectibles. Ooh, and some resources. But yeah, finding people to play a co-op game like, like this with is always kind of a, an interesting challenge. Especially if you've got, like, social anxiety. You don't really, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of energy you know, to work up to, to playing co-op with someone. Um, trying to find the right group, the right circumstances can be a big part of the challenge. So what is through this door? Clearwater Springs. Can I tell what's going on over there in Clearwater Springs? Hmm. So it looks like, yeah, so there's a bunch of optional missions at one door. So I'm headed towards the polluted outpost. But I think if I take this little side route over here, there's like three side quests down this down this hallway. I'm kind of interested in seeing what kind of trouble I can get into before I progress the main plot. So let's go do that. Renneth Gord says, it, it's surprising that Game UI isn't designed with a streamer's cam cutout in mind yet. So I think this game might actually have it. I, I forgot where it was. 
but I'm pretty sure they actually don't put any important HUD in the upper right-hand corner. Let's let's see if that's true as I keep progressing. Let's see if they stick anything behind my head now that I've found the right spot, what I think is the right spot. Oh, hello, monsters. So, it's pretty clear that I've upgraded my equipment since last time we played together. Um, I can show you what I've got in just a second. To the point where I actually prefer to use my sidearm against these enemies. Obsessively restocking my ammo. Like a champ. Is that everybody in this wave? Oh wait, I just heard it. What was that? Boom. Nothing spawning yet. Okay, cool. So yeah, so my strategy these days, so I, I, I use this guy, which explodes whenever uh, you reload, to, um, uh, to deal with guys that are just charging at me, like, like sort of low health guys that are charging at me. So even when I'm reloading, I'm still damaging them if they, if they get close. My actual main, like, super-powered weapon is this guy. Uh, so basically, this one causes enemies to bleed, and it also um, increases my critical damage. So if I shoot them in the head, I do more damage shooting them continuously in the head. Um, it's got uh, its its magazine size is 80, uh, and the reason why that's important is because I have a special ability that massively increases my damage, and the amount of that I get to use is dependent on my magazine size. Uh, I, I get a certain number of magazines, and so carrying around an LMG. Uh, with a, with a huge magazine size is 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 a is a big advantage for me. And this guy, I think I just got this one, and so I think this is sort of my. Um, it's slightly longer range, I think, than the. Uh, th this one is mostly y you're not very accurate very far. I think this one's slightly more accurate far further away, um, and it also, um, yeah, it does more damage per shot and has fewer shots, which is just kind of that actually is the way I like to roll usually. So. I've just grabbed that one. I haven't really put much playtesting time into that one yet, so I don't know if I like that weapon yet. In fact, why don't we try it? Hello? Anything down here? Ah, there you are, buddy. So, not as much... Ah, hello! Not as much damage as my... Ah! Two of you, huh? Oh, lots of you, huh? Sheesh. Okay, okay. Wah. Okay. Well, I was not ready for that. Uh, <laughs> luckily, very forgiving checkpoints. So it looks like when that happens, what I actually want is this gun. Oh, wait. Am I... Oh, I'm back earlier. Gotta deal with these guys again. See how high damage per shot this gun is? That's the way I usually like to roll in games like this. I don't need that many shots for magazine if each one does a ton of damage. All right, so the big guys are gonna show up. So another thing about this gun is that when I kill people, it actually restores my health. And so unfortunately, I was not sort of handling things very well, and I wasn't killing enough guys. I keep partially killing them, but not actually killing them. Okay, once the other guy shows up... There we go. Okay, let's switch guns. Trigger this ability and that ability. Oh, gosh, get off me. So now my guns are doing massive damage. As long as I keep, whoa, keep killing guys, I should be healing, but wow, not very fast. Whoa. Okay, I did just up my world level too, so maybe that's part of the problem. I'm thinking I'm not a huge fan of that new gun though. It doesn't feel like it's uh, serving me all that well. Part of it is the fact that maybe I just got too focused on the big guys. I need, to get, I need to get rid of all the little guys first. Ignore the big guys, just evade them. But if I keep killing the little guys, it'll keep my health up until 
I've reduced the number of enemies enough that it's less of a threat. So let's try that strategy. Let's keep this new gun. Wah! But let's focus on the guys that I can kill. These guys, they're just, okay, with two of them like this? It's like they're, they're doing that jump attack so frequently. Sheesh. There's three of them now. And now I was trapped against the rocks. Wow, okay, okay. So the number of those guys just keeps going up. Oh, stop telling me to go with the lower difficulty, you jerks. I'm figuring this out. Okay, so not a fan of this gun. It doesn't seem like it's healing me enough to be worth it. But part of it is still like, I'm still, I'm not killing guys very often. I'm like, I keep wounding them, but then needing to dodge and get away from the guy I was, I was in the middle of working on. Seems like headshots really matter with these guys. Okay, so I tried the kill all the little guys strategy. That seems like it actually didn't work very well. Let's try kill the big guys first strategy. As soon as a big guy shows up. Oops. Okay. Okay, so here's my problem. I meant to switch weapons. I believed that I had. And then I've got my garbage weapon that I, is new and I don't like it anymore. I meant to be using this. Okay, wow, they do not let you just dodge through enemies in this game. They're real serious about collision. Okay, so I gotta reload and then take out the big guy. Take out lots of little guys. Big guy, keep getting the headshots. There we go. All right. Ow! 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 Get off! I'm trying to dodge. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I understand. Not letting me dodge through enemies. That can be a little bit of a cheese strategy, but getting... This is a third-person shooter. Like You need a certain amount of room between you and an enemy to be effective at fighting them with a ranged weapon. Like, if I'm... You've got to give me a way out when I'm just mobbed like that by, by enemies that completely cut off all escape. Because I was doing okay that time. Yeah, so the tank is encouraging me to shoot their weak points. Not that I... Oh, hello. Hi. can't even, they just get a little bit next to the rocks, and I cannot do anything about it. Oh good, acid. So 
I'm not dead certain where the weak points on some of these guys are. So when you are a trickster, even if your main threat is far away from you, you usually need to shoot the guys that are close to make sure that your healing stays up. More? Really? Okay, it looks like shooting them in the mouth gives me the yellow numbers, which Tank says is critical damage. Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh my gosh, we did it. Pick up all the garbage these guys dropped. Oh. Yeah, sometimes when you're in the heat of it, it's really hard to tell what's working and what's not. But it looks like we actually got through that bit, finally. So it used to be that, at least early on in the game, I think that they gave me the option to decide whether I wanted to up my my um, world level, my world tier, each time it, it uh, a new one became available. I think they might have patched in a change where they automatically level, level up the world level and you have to opt out. And I'm kind of fine with that. I mean, so far, I haven't got to the point where I feel like the game is totally inaccessible. I will eventually. At some point, I'm going to have to just pick a world level and be like, yep, this is this is where I'm playing right now. And who knows? Maybe I've just hit that point. Maybe that battle was like not meant to be as hard as it was. Oh, so the tank has got a difficulty slider question uh, about State of Decay 2. So yeah, sure. We're not playing State of Decay 2, but I'm still always hey, happy to man. answer questions. How'd your daughter end up on the wrong side of the border anyway? I came trading in Trench Town right when the insurgents pushed the front by miles. Teresa was on the other side. It was years before I heard about this smuggler. Getting my daughter's letters, being able to know she's safe, it's been a blessing. Just try not to spook the smuggler, okay? You don't seem like a real <laughs> people person. Nonsense. I'm full of charm. By the way, um, how is the game audio compared to my voice? I feel like you know I, I keep it a little bit higher without writers because the dialogue tends to be a little bit more important. But if, uh, if if the combat is drowning me out, you know, and, and making it hard for me to hear uh, for you to hear me, let me know. Um, let's see here. To the tank says, if my friend has uh, a standard boon and ups only the enemy difficulty to dread, will the boon still be active or based on the minimum difficulty? Oh, crap. How did we solve this before? <laughs> Sorry, we, I haven't thought about this in a while. I'm pretty sure that the... Uh, huh. So the boon difficulty that you can unlock is is based on your lowest difficulty level. So I imagine that the boons you can equip would also be based on your lowest difficulty level. I think that sounds right, but I... Now I want to go and check. Uh, so, sorry, that's like one of those like arcane questions. Thing is, our the way that our boons work is not very friendly with the way that our difficulty levels work. I, I think that we need to take another look at boons, um, at, because like right now it's it's it's, it's highly confusing. Originally we based, uh, so we we just created four boons for the game, uh, which are the prizes you get for sort of winning the game once. So you can come back with a special power the next time you play. Um, we created those. And, and they kind of, you know, kind of made sense. Uh, we added difficulty levels and then uh, then increased the number of boons so that e at each difficulty level you had to earn the boons again, which was, you know, kind of worked. But then we added difficulty sliders, which complemented complicated difficulty levels. And now it's just like no one knows how the boons are supposed to work. Um, and so maybe there's a good answer to your question. There probably is one. I don't know what it is, but that's a problem. The fact that you have to, like, think it through and be like, oh, wait a minute, what, what should it be? is a problem. It should be really straightforward. And so I think we need to take another look at Boons. Uh, and I hope I hope we can get the, the time sometime soon to do that. Because they're kind of ridiculous. Okay, so we've got a couple of um, side quests out here. So the, the guy who was talking to me on the radio, um, he's an old man who's lost track of his daughter and he's been using a smuggler to keep in contact with her and send her stuff. I think that he's been hoodwinked. Um, I'm not actually sure. It looks like neither of these quests, I'm not sure if they're actually... So one of them, so there's a, there's a hunter quest in here. There's one called Outrider's Legacy. And then there's 
another one that I think is about the guy and his daughter. Let's do Outrider's Legacy first, just because I think it's the quickest one. That's the opposite of a welcome mat. What the hell did you say? I said I'm tired of mopping up sweet dishes, cleaning your underwear, dragging out the body. What the heck? Oh, they're up here. I was trying to figure out those voices were coming from. Work and work to keep this place nice, and you come stomping in with blood and guts. Someone's gotta keep you safe. Oh, I am out yeah, there I suppose I should be assholes. bowing down to you, kissing your feet for I letting me in your you goddamn from presence. A, whorehouse. a little gratitude. For gratitude? Me. How about all the times I've wrapped my legs around you when I get God. nothing, nothing? You know, I thought life with an altar was gonna be exciting. I thought there'd be armies uh, and... You need rescuing. Hey, what is it? Who's there? How am I supposed to know that fucking altar to my face? Do I look what? like I need rescuing? Hold on. I'll destroy anyone who gets close. Oh, yeah, sure. Just as soon as you get your pants up from your goddamn ankles. Yeah, as soon as I do that, there's oh, yeah, you know what? All I do is, like, sit and I clean here and you're always in... I don't even remember the context of that. <laughs> so, okay, I really so I think... I don't know which one of those two uh, I feel more sorry for. I should get back to Lucy, at least. And put her mind at ease. Okay, so there's a woman named Lucy who was worried that her friend had been abducted or something. And so, no, our friend is just in an unhappy relationship over here in this cabin. So, great. Good to know. Um, is that all this area is about? Just finding those two? <laughs> really? There's got to be something around here. It's not just... I don't know. Maybe I'll come back here later. There's going to be some kind of fight. Right now, it just seems like... I'm only here to watch some people bicker. Huh. Yoda says that they played with somebody, uh, played State of K2 with someone in co-op, and uh, they had no um, play cards on their map. That's weird. I don't know what would have caused that. I've never, never seen or heard that before. All right, well, I haven't been a huge fan of this healing gun. It just feels like it's not doing enough damage to be worth it my time. I wonder if this one's going to be better. It's got burning bullets. Less of everything across the board, because this one's just like, it's supposed to do, feel like it's doing a ton of damage. Of course, I've only used this one against, like, weird enemies. So, I don't know, maybe against, like, normal human enemies this will be fine. I'll, I'll on, hold on to it a little bit longer. See how it feels against something else. Okay, that's just the ammo replenishing thing. Yep, there's not much around here. Let's head back here. Maybe we'll go after our uh, our hunting. Our hunting mission. Okay, where am I? Pfft. Hold on. Ah, there we are. Yes. Here's our next hunting oh, this mission. Be interesting. Count me in. Of course, it just occurred to me, if I'm fighting some single huge creature, my healing gun that heals me when I kill things is probably not going to be that effective. I don't know what is going to be effective. So there's this fancy sniper rifle. Feels like maybe not. Let's try this gun. It set things, sets things on fire. That seems good against a boss. All right. I don't think I've fought a human since we started this session. It's just like me against monsters. Huh. Yep, more of these guys. Oh, that's way more effective. Presuming these guys are like the same level and stuff. else 
Oh, one thing that'll make it easier, I think. I think I've got the wrong... There we go. The wrong mission tracked. Once I triggered the hunting mission, I should probably... have automatically pinned it. Yikes. That's how those fights usually go. <laughs> oh, crap. Is that the qu Oh, of course I've used my fancy... Ugh. Used my fancy damage thing right before the queen shows up. That wasn't smart. I gotta wait for that thing to cool down again. It's hurting me. There we go. Lots of items. Oh, what? But is somebody still fighting me? What? The boss is gone. Run away. Yeah. Well, so, done. I love my now big blue gun. Beauty back to Noah. Okay, I think there's no collectibles around here. Oh wait, oh, oh, there's some stuff I didn't pick up yet. That thing had eaten so many people with all of their equipment. Oh, what's this? Wow, I've got so much crap now. And then this, of course. But yeah, I'd never heard of uh, just play carts just not spawning on a map in State of Decay 2. So um, it might be worth sending a message to uh, you know to our support site to let us know because I mean it, it could be that the fact that I don't know that's a thing doesn't mean it's you know not known at the studio. Somebody else could know it and I just, no one's bothered to tell me about it. But yeah, it's def definitely worth somebody following up on if no one's doing it yet. Okay, so. Now, this mission is called A Heart of Gold. So let's track A Heart of Gold. Got to do all the side content. All of it. Oh, that's right. Locate the smugglers. Wait a minute. I, I know I'm not running towards the... Uh, marker in my map just because I'm okay so this is where this is where I fought those monsters okay just retracing my steps here and I came up here the thing that surprised me is that the the icon for this mission looks like a check mark I'm assuming maybe that's not the icon for this mission or oh no hmm it's weird that it's a check mark. Like, I guess maybe this is really is just as simple as going and talking to someone, and there's not going to be a fight, and so that's why it's a check mark because 
the last conversation in a mission is always marked with a check mark. It's really odd, though. Oh, wait. It's pointing me this way, but I can't... can't get across here. It's not always really clear on the map where I am. I'm trying to go here. But it doesn't actually... F it tells me which section I'm in. It doesn't tell me physically where I am on the map, what what entrance I'm pointed towards. So I guess we'll go the direction we can go. See where that takes us. Maybe what I was looking at was the way back. I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to pick up every collectible I find. Okay, so that check mark... It must be for another quest or something, because this looks like it's where I'm meant to be. <laughs> Renath Court asks, uh, odd question, but who's in charge of maintaining the State of Decay 2 IMDB page? I assume IMDB is in charge of that. I don't I don't think we've got anybody who does that. You wrote those letters? Shut up! I hear something. I was asked to give you these, but they're not real, are they? The letters from his daughter. How long has she been dead? Shit, he heard you, you idiot! Take him out! Okay, now I'm just pissed. Okay, yeah, this fire gun will do. I love making enemies drop grenades. It's one of my favorite mechanics. The thing is, this it's not very long range. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> the fire is pretty great. Uh, not gonna lie. So there was another gun I wanted to try out, though, which was this one. And while I'm running into enemies at a distance... Oh, crap. I was not getting some... I'm not getting headshots there. This seems like a gun that's designed for headshots. And if you are failing to get headshots, not going to work as well. Oh, hello. Oh. Dang it. Quit moving around, you jerk. Oh, sheesh. I'm bad at this. Okay, so not bad. I don't feel like my cursor control is that great in this game. Whether that's an issue with the game or with me, I'll leave as an exercise for the viewer. One magazine into that guy. Takes off half his health. Getting a little better with this gun. The thing this gun doesn't do is um, heal me very easily. Because <laughs> I heal when I kill enemies at close range, and that has not been happening. Is that it? Let's see if there's any collectibles or anything. Ah. Something over there. 
I think that's just an ammo restock, though. Okay, more enemies this way. Focused shots. Dang it. This is your leader? Oh shoot, get out of there. No! Stop being bad at things. Lomo, I could have used that better, but I mostly did it to just ensure that I'd survive through one healing kill. Where is everybody? Whew, okay. Level 16. Anybody drop anything I need? Hmm. So, uh... Randall Cord says those head explosions are brutal. That's actually one of the uh, yeah one of the most important things to get right is is uh, giving pl giving players feedback like really strong feedback for their small victories can really make a game feel. It could be the difference between a game that feels amazing and a game that just feels all right. You know when you get a headshot, having it be explosive like that's one of the best things that Destiny did. Their headshots are explosive. They're kind of ridiculous. I always thought the most brutal truth was better than the sweetest lie. And then they told me what happened to my family. Sure, I fucking lied and I stole. But in the end, I was doing a service. Take it. It's from her. It's one of my better ones. <laughs> Somebody gonna murder her and then finish her job? She really knew how to play his heartstrings. What do I tell the old man? Huh, so the game assumed that I would have fought her over here. But instead, she charged me. I ended up fighting her in the entrance. But they still made the cutscene over at the top of the, of the level. I think that they believed, whenever they designed this mission, I think they believed that her AI would keep her up there sniping at me instead of charging down at me interesting sort of to you know read that sort of thing into a game um okay i think that was the last side mission over here so what i probably want to do is just head back to the beginning and actually follow the main quest there's still another couple of side missions there but they're on the other side of following the main quest Cloudcraft says, so I heard that a number of players were upset because they slowed an aspect of progression and also nerfed a bunch of powers in the name of build balance uh, as opposed to buffing the ones that were weaker. That's always a, yeah, it's always a complicated thing to navigate. When players, you know, when players come to rely on a specific set of powers or, or a specific, you know, build in the game, making changes to it is, all, doing anything besides just make it more amazingly powerful uh, can be emotionally problematic. So yeah, a lot of times, so uh, Cloudcraft is right that a lot of the time, 
if you're trying to balance something, it's certainly safer to balance by making some things more powerful rather than making some things weaker. Um, because even though ultimately it has the same effect, um, or it can have the same, you know, a really similar balance effect, uh, players are much happier uh, to watch other people get stronger than to watch themselves get weaker, even if it's ultimately the same. Um, but at the same time, I don't actually know exactly what things you're talking about. There are definitely cases where making everything else more powerful would just... Like, if something is, if one particular thing is overpowered, weakening it versus changing everything else to be more powerful, I mean, it's definitely a lot less risky to go for, you know, making, uh, you know, making something. Uh, just, just changing one thing in the game rather than changing everything in the game. This isn't going well. Ah, dang it. I thought I, if I went for a... Whoa, I fell through the world. I thought that if I went for... Um, that's not the way to go. I thought if I went for shooting the guy, I would heal fast enough to overcome the other people that were all shooting at me. But that was not a good move. So, this looks like it is designed for co-op. Like, I'm supposed to have a sniper up here. Okay, obviously I'm terrible at leading my targets, apparently. Okay, where do I go? I want to be somewhere where all the enemies are on one side of me. Is that too much to ask? Oh, hello. And where they're not spawning on top of my face. That would also be nice. Oh, crap. Okay. I did not heal as much from that as I intended to. Hmm. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, just a little tiny bit of healing. Oh, gosh, okay, this is... I'm not playing this very well. Can do this, though. We can do it. What the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> Why do I suck so much? Oh, gosh. I'm on fire now? Okay. Um, this is already going very badly. Okay. Some last minute healing there. Oh, there's someone behind me? Oh, yeah, that's right. This happens. Okay. Rolled up on a guy and got him. What? Sometimes my teleport ability doesn't send me anywhere, and I don't understand why. All right. So... I like shooting these guys' armor off. Okay. Yeah. Ah. 
I had just turned on my uh, magic bullets. Ranathcourt says, since you don't like playing games in co-op most of the time, do you think that you gain less game dev insight, or whatever you call it, uh, from playing games that are designed fully around being played with others? Uh, so, I have been actually consciously trying to play more co-op, specifically because I know it's a blind spot that I have. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, when I'm when I'm playing a game, sort of not the way it's meant to be played, I definitely do miss out on some insights. So I, you know, even though like I get a lot of like kind of weird stress and social anxiety around you know playing a lot of games with uh, in co-op or with strangers, especially. Ah, gosh. Um, I have been trying to. Uh, find folks to play with, like uh, my sister and I have been playing a lot more co-op games lately, for instance. Which has been a nice way to sort of handle being separated by a pandemic. What? I'm stuck in a hole! Ah, dang it. Oh gosh, what is going on? Oh, they're all up here? Wow, okay, fine. You're all asking to be slowed down, I'll slow you down. Oh, and this magic bullet power actually reloads my gun. I hadn't actually realized that. Oh, gosh. So I wasted that... Uh, time slow a little too soon. I should have waited until more people gathered around me. I can do this, though. The tank says, well, I know you have uh, no lack of offers to play. You know, th that's true. That's, like, part of the problem, honestly. Like, I feel bad because so many people do offer to play games with me, and I'm like, how do I explain that I feel weird about it without sounding like I'm insulting the person? <laughs> you know? Like, there's nothing, nothing against any of you individually. <laughs> I'm just... I get weird about playing co-op games with people. And, and, and I think part of it is just... I've said this before, but part of it is just the fact that, you know... I've got all these, like... Dad-type obligations? And, uh, you know, like, I always feel like I'm very likely... to have to quit on somebody right in the middle of a game. And I just, preemptively, I end up feeling like that's just, a, oh, a risk that I can't tolerate, you know? Having to just be the guy who messes up every game because, oh. Because a kid needs something. Okay, well this is going better than last time. Partly because I'm playing a little bit more conservatively, not just rushing into battle. Taking better advantage of my sniper rifle. Oh, okay. Oh. So here are all the guys that spawned over there.
Oh, gosh. Ah, what the? What? No! Ah, oh, that guy came out of no... Was he, did he spawn behind me? That's very obnoxious if he spawned behind me. I was doing great. Finally! Actually got that guy. Hello? Seems fine. Oh, gosh! No! Ow. Fell off a hole. I mean, in a hole. Off a cliff. Into a hole. I appreciate the effort they put into making their, um, grenade landings really super audible. What the? Oh my gosh. These breachers spawning behind me are gonna kill me. I mean, like literally, they actually do kill me a lot. I'm sure that everyone's having a great time watching me play this one battle again and again and again. So Ranhuff Cord just pointed out another issue that I do actually deal with is if I've got multiple people asking to play co-op with me. Oh, what the heck? And I say yes to one, then if I say no to anyone else, it becomes, well, why did you play with this person? How come, is there something about me? Why don't you like me? You know, I just, I think it's, I don't think that people are necessarily going to do that. But my fear that they will <laughs> makes it really, really hard for me to say yes to the first person. So, yeah, so a lot of the times, like, if I, if I, you know, if you're asking to play co-op with me and I'm telling you no, it might not be about, have anything to do with you. It might be much more about me anticipating that the next person is going to be a weirdo. Okay. Crap, one of these. He's gonna take too long to. Oh, oh, gosh, Breacher again. I think, yeah, part of what goes on with me is just that I'm. I'm very aware of how, like, easily I start to feel, like, socially obligated. And I feel like I have to sort of limit the number of people who I've said, you know, oh yeah, when you want something from me, you can get it. <laughs> because once I'm in that kind of relationship with somebody, like, it becomes very, very difficult for me to say no to them. And so it's easier for me to avoid getting into one of those relationships in the first place than to try to manage them. I heard a grenade, but it wasn't actually landing next to me, so. Oh, crap. 
Sniper. Oh, get off me, sniper. Yeah, if I actually get into the right circumstances with a big guy like that. Oh, gosh. What the? I feel like I went from, I mean, I wasn't watching my health bar. I feel like I went from doing well to suddenly just being dead. Ah, oh, that was bizarre. Taking out that one guy really fast like that worked really well at first, it seemed. At least this is good sniping practice, right? Gotta know when to run. Crap. Out of your cover. Captain down there. Dang it. Last thing I needed. Oh crap, I just undid my whatever. It'll cool down faster at least. Let's get out of here. Do not want to deal with the captain right now. Can barely handle his minions. Oh crap, this guy. And and the captain. I don't know what focus shots are. They didn't seem to help the smuggler, though. I'm still going to put some distance between me and him, though. Okay. That was a gamble. Um, people still firing at me. Get all my abilities back. Let's take out this guy. I don't know if that was actually the guy I intended to take out. Probably not. Nope. I think it probably was this guy. Or maybe even that guy. That was the one I was aiming at. You know, I wish that there was something, like a stronger indication of which guy you're going to teleport to when you hit the teleport button. I feel like I'm always guessing. Okay, and then 
there's somebody just right below me. Oh, did I do it? This zone hasn't been entirely abandoned. The area is still heavily <sighs> irradiated, but that doesn't stop scavengers or insurgents from roaming around and digging up whatever scrap they can find. Speaking of scavengers roaming around picking up whatever scrap they can find, that's me. <sighs> all right. Got to find all the stuffs. All right, I've been playing for just about an hour, so we're probably going to want to wrap up this session. But let's get to the end of this quest and maybe go resolve a bunch of my quests. Unless, oh, I don't even know. I don't know what's through this door. Hmm... Oh wait, there's a exclamation point. Is it on this section of the map or is it in the next area? Looks like it's up there somewhere. Yeah, it's probably in the next section of the map. Okay. Because there's another quest through there, and I don't even know how much longer this main quest is going to take, I think this is probably actually a good time to uh, to cut the video. So for those of you who don't watch me all the time, uh, I cut these uh, these Twitch streams into a series of YouTube videos. And so I do these YouTube end screens at the end. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop streaming. I'm going to stick around. But uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can subscribe with that button right there. And uh, I'm going to make another Outriders video. And so that video should go here uh, whenever it's ready. So... Click those if you want to continue.